2018 DS7 Crossback SUV Review Pros Decent tried quality and safe handling in many situations. Some in the cabin materials are incredibly pleasing. Reasonable selection of diesels in petrols, but no hybrid at launch. Stands out of your crown, with lots of kit. Cons Hefty price and PC please costs. Screen based controls lag behind premium rivals. Little brand kudos, this means resale values could suffer. Refinement lags behind rivals. The Peugeot Citroen Group PSA may be busy expanding its portfolio recently. Although outwardly, the top news in 2017 was you can actually purchase a Vox All Opel. It's the development on the upscale DS automobile brand that has become keeping the French fully occupied since its launch in 2014. The latest part of that puzzle will be the DS7 Crossback. It joins fantastic DS3, patchy DS4 and weirdly appealing DS5 to become the buzziness new flagship. But for those expecting an extravagant saloon inside the spirit with the original Citroen DS, this new mid-sized SUV, the first of a new generation of bespoke DS products, can be quite a little bit disappointing. But SUVs sell. Audi, BMW and Mercedes-Benz can't make motor their premium offerings to meet up with demand, and PSA wants a part of that action. Consequently, the DS7 Crossback is aimed towards the sort of those who might want a posh crossover such as the one to opt for the obvious choice. DS7 Crossback, determining baby gender, and what's this against? Think with the, the DS7 Crossback to be a plush SUV that accompanies an Audi Q5 sized cabin, nevertheless, you can buy it at Q3 prices. It's not cheap, though. Launch pricing is from £28,050 for the Telegance Blue D130 to £43,535 with the Ultra Prestige Blue C180 Automatic. Cars for example the Ford Edge or Kia Sorento seriously undercut it, whilst the top of the range models are my Arc Volvo XC60 money. Because on this slightly unusual positioning, DS Automobiles reckons how the new car's closest rivals include the similar-looking Lexus NX, the Mercedes-Benz GLA and BMW X1 along with the popular Audi. As such, it is just a car that will impress, and give something in addition to its well in opposition. Does it have the required steps? As a package, it can do what a typical large SUV should. You get two rows of seats for five passengers, then there is plenty of room front and back. Thanks to a tone floor, there's an abundance of space for passenger feet. You can even recline both the outer seat backs electrically within the upspec models. The boot is often a decent size, at 555 liters with all the rear seats up or 1750 together stowed flat. The tailgate is electrically operated. DS7 Crossback Specs, Engine Choices Available in Elegance, Performance Line, Prestige and Ultra Prestige versions, it is possible to pick from this engines and transmissions within the DS7 Crossback. Blue D130 Diesel Manual Blue D180 Diesel Manual Blue D180 Diesel Automatic Pure Tech 225 Petrol Automatic The Blue D130 is surely an all new 1.5 liter engine, and passes EU 6.2 regulations. It may ultimately replace all 1.6 liter diesels along the entire PSA range. A 300 horsepower hybrid version referred to as the Eaton's wheel track in mid 2019, 
however it's petrol and diesel only from launch. All models are front-wheel drive, besides the upcoming hybrid, FETS electrically powered rear wheels for improved traction on slippery surfaces. Given the profusion of four-wheel drive rivals within this market and price sector, this is really a disadvantage if you regularly tows or uses a modicum of off-road capability. What's the DS7 Crossback like inside? The dashboard is dominated by twin 12.0-inch screens, one inch front from the driver, plus the other inside center from the dash. From there. You'll be able to control all aspects from the infotainment, climate control, navigation and driver aids. There is additionally a bank of switches underneath the screen for some on the more commonly used controls. Both are crisp and clear, and you'll be able to fault their clarity. However, despite having several display modes, how the instruments are displayed in front in the driver means you are able to simply have a nice, Big bank of old school dials. This is often a shame as it's reasonably user friendly and pacey, however, not a patch on any on the Volkswagen Group opposition. We'd like to see more physical controls, like BMW's iDrive or Audis MMI, to back the touch screen. The number of materials is impressive, though, with numerous care lavished around the quality from the leather and suede fence used. Every touchpoint feels nice, as well as the use of quilted leather with the seats and padded armrests is quite appealing. Clever usage of upmarket materials inside. It feels modern and welcoming. But it's not assume all good news. DS has clearly tried too difficult to give it an exclusive, bespoke feel, areas like the center console switch gear, pop-up BRM clock and the one's instrument graphics are overstyled and contrived. This is really a shame, because doing so lacks the understated elegance with the Volvo XC60 or Audi Q3, as an example. There's another lack of quality in some in the commonly used switches. The branded start-stop button feels cheap and wobbly, plus the scroll buttons have a very little and excessive amount of lost movement included. Niggles, perhaps, although not what you'd expect at potentially pound 40, 000 plus. But we can easily report that it's very roomy, both back and front. The driving position is great, the seats are happy, as well as the rear is really a pleasant destination to spend time. Just watch out for that optional glass sunroof which significantly impacts rear headroom for taller passengers. A lighting tech fist. A real party piece from the DS7 Crossback is its lighting system, standard fit around the performance line, prestige and ultra prestige models along with a £1,000 option for the entry-level elegance. Traditional bulbs are banished and is overtaken by LEDs and their active beams that swivel 180 they're gone start up in an unusually arresting routine. Lost your vehicle in a car park? The beams provide light for and complete a merry dance, strobing to assist you to locate your vehicle or settling into a deep purple glow. On the move, they massage the beam fit around to suit the earth, weather and type of road. Further technical innovations include night vision, a 14-speaker stereo, acoustic double glazing as well as a new adhesive used inside factory as well as welding, giving the crossover a rigid and quiet structure, to boost refinement, safety and handling. What's the DS7 Crossback want to drive? Reflecting the reality that SUV buyers don't necessarily want the last word in driver involvement. DS Automobiles has dial lead in a great degree of comfort. Central to the present is the Buzzinus Active Scan Suspension System, which works on the forward-facing camera to watch the trail and tune your vehicle's suspension and damping to cope while using surface accordingly. Drive it from the city, and it also doesn't initially think soft, but because speeds rise, 
the a feeling of comfort grouse, especially on undulating motorways and roads. It's not consistently fluid within the way it behaves, and then there are a number of times when you feel the suspension switching from soft to firm to handle sudden surface changes. In corners, it generally feels flat and stable, however the steering lacks precision and consistency of weight and feedback, so that you never feel as confident when you should starting a corner you perhaps entered too rapidly. It's not much of a driver's car in every sense in the word which because of the suspension technology that's gone involved with it, is often a little disappointing. The DS7 cross backs adaptive cruise control and land keep assist work efficiently, with all the steering assist feeling natural, and distances being maintained within a natural feeling way. It also allows the driving force an unusually long number of hands off time, over 20 seconds on our brief test. The verdict. The DS7 crossback is often a car that's good in places, and annoying in other people. Although the overall styling is as you generic, there is some nice detailing within the outside, for example the LED headlamps, plus the well-resolved tail lights. It's roomy inside, the trim materials are tastefully chosen, and it also feels suitably upscale. In short, DS adjusted some weight towards delivering luxury go through it promised, with a couple rough edges to sort. On the street, the DS7 Crossback's active scan suspension method is able to deliver a fairly comfortable, well controlled ride on many surfaces, without resorting to excessive body roll from the corners. Much on the time it feels composed and relaxed, in town or on some broken surfaces. That air of serenity is sadly lacking. It's also less refined than we expected, with engine and wind noise falling short in the best at college. But it's on some very tough rivals, and is also far from cheap. Although we suspect it's actually a grow or you may love it more with familiarity, you can't help but believe that it's one method or another short with the out-of-the-box excellence that is required to persuade SUV buyers to ditch their Audis, BMWs and Mercedes-Benzes. It's a left-field choice, but far away from outstanding enough to generate the change to DS definitely worth the effort. DS7 Crossback Review From Launch the DS7 Crossback was offered with a collection of three engines, two diesels as well as a single petrol. We've driven the Blue D180 diesel in manual form, along with the Pure Tech 225 petrol in automatic form. The Blue D130 is surely an all new 1.5 liter engine, passes the U6.2 regulations, and keeps going sale at the start of 2018. This engine will ultimately replace all 1.6-liter diesels through the entire PSA range, but for your moment, is offered across a little selection. We will report back driving impressions in this car after we get hold of one. A 300-horsepower hybrid version referred to as Eatons follows in mid-2019, yet it's petrol and diesel only from launch. All models are front-wheel drive independent of the upcoming hybrid, that has electrically powered rear wheels for improved traction on slippery surfaces. DS7 Crossback Diesel vs. Pedal Refinement as well as The Blue D180 in automatic form is punchy, and has what you want, additionally it is far too vocal. Flick the drive mode switch into sport, as well as its exhaust note is amplified unpleasantly. We're not sure why. Performance is adequate, using a 062 miles per hour duration of 9.9 .9 seconds, along with a maximum speed of 134 miles per hour. Nevertheless, the engine lacks refinement. Wed recommend you exit it in eco or comfort mode, relax, and continue to enjoy the ride. We also drove the Pure Tech 225 in 8 speed automatic form. And yes it's smooth and refined at low speeds, and accelerates impressively at motorway speeds. 
Like the diesel, in sport mode, the exhaust note is amplified artificially, but it really rarely sounds or feels as sporty since its power output indicates. Performance is a lot livelier versus the diesel, and you also enjoy taking advantage of it, even though it's not actually much quicker versus the diesel. The 062 miles per hour time is 8.3 seconds and maximum speed is 141 miles per hour, but official fuel use of 48.7 miles per gallon is lower as opposed to diesel's 57.6 miles per gallon. Of the pair, it's expected more UK buyers will plump to the diesel on financial grounds, even so the petrol version is a bit more satisfying to operate a vehicle on account of its additional refinement. But both of them are more fitted to cruising, which works hand in hand while using DS7 cross back slayed back character. Although SUVs generally aren't bought by people looking with the most exciting handling, nearly everyone is confident in Benz. The same is true for the DS7 cross back which shares its basic platform and suspension setup with the superb Peugeot 3008. In it, you are looking at a car that is certainly biased towards comfort, and therefore, essentially the most you're gonna say concerning the DS7 crossback is the fact it's capable in corners, and won't do one thing silly. It's not only a driver's car, though. The steering is just too light and lacks precision which leaves you feeling a tad detached from the street, though it is safe and secure. And the upshot is the fact you won't feel that this DS7 crossback occasion to excite you. As such, and because of the suspension technology that's gone engrossed, as well as the heritage on the brand, this can be a little disappointing. But for those drivers seeking a neat handling, undemanding, comfortable family SUV, the DS7 Crossback puts in the acceptable performance. The DS7 Crossback's interior majors on luxury. The French manufacturer will be for a haute couture try keeping with exactly what it describes as being a Parisian method of materials and trim. This traditional approach is almost at odds together with the high-tech interior which presents the motorist with a sizable 12.0-inch TFT screen instead of an set of dials. That instrument panel is flanked by a likewise large infotainment screen, which such as the DS7 Crossback's cousin, the Peugeot 3008, controls rather too many from the car's functions. Thankfully, the lending company of switches underneath the screen can be used additional functions. Although rather just like the DS3, many of these can be counterintuitive. The driving position is great, once acclimatized, the controls work nicely. The cruise control and audio systems are adjusted by chunky stocks driving, a lot better than buttons within the spokes, after you have figured out where did they work. For those familiar with Peugeot's and Citroën's, Nothing in regards to the DS7 crossback will feel alien or unusual, just more luxurious. With a title like DS, and together with the heritage until this has behind it, it isn't unreasonable you may anticipate this car becoming a comfortable choice. On the whole, the DS7 crossback doesn't disappoint, that has a suspension setup that's tuned for comfort on rougher roads, and cost-setting high-speed ride. In town and city, the DS7 Crossback is comfortable, but it is far from your magic carpet you will get on smooth motorways. To get the most beneficial out from the car for comfort lovers, should it be fitted with active scan suspension, let it sit in standard mode, since it will watch the counter roll ahead and adjust the damping accordingly. The front seats are incredibly good. Supportive well-shaped and also well-padded, so most drivers will discover a comfortable and commanding position. In the rear, you will get adjustment, and acres of room. Standard DS7 Crossback Equipment The DS7 Crossback comes in four forms, however, 
There will be regular special editions positioned on a regular basis. DS Automobiles point out that these specials will likely be offered over a time, in lieu of production number, limited basis. The four regular models offered add the Elegance, Performance Sport, Prestige and Ultra Prestige versions. Even the so-called entry-level Elegance version is generously equipped, which suggests that those choosing a regular version are hardly likely to feel shortchanged. The Elegance model comes with all the following equipment as standard. Hill Start Assist Trailer Stability Control Cruise Control with Speed Limiter Active Safety Brake Lane Departure Warning Speed Limit Recognition Warning Driver Attention Warning Rear Parking Sensors Remote Control Central Locking with Deadlocks Keyless Start Remote Tailgate Opening with Key Defrosting Door Mirrors Automatic AC Automatic Windscreen Wipers Multifunction Onboard Trip Computer 8.0 Inch Touchscreen Bluetooth Hands Free and Media Streaming with USB Socket Android Auto and Apple CarPlay DAB Digital Radio DS Connect Box, Emergency and Assistance System Acoustic and Tinted Rear Windscreen Automatic Lights LED Front Fog Lights with Cornering Light Function Performance Line Models add the next equipment 19-inch diamond cut alloy wheels DS active scan suspension LED headlights with higher beam assist Rear lateral and curtain airbags Electrically folding door mirrors with DS LED spotlight Alcon Tara dashboard and door panels with stitching Dark tinted rear windows 12.0 inch HD touchscreen 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster DS Connect Nav Voice recognition Front central armrest with storage Prestige models add the subsequent equipment Reversing camera Advanced safety pack, active blind spot detection, lane keeping assist Extended traffic sign recognition, driver attention alert. Premium leather leader. BRMR180 clock. Claudia and Napa leather dashboard. Automatic follow me home lighting full LED ambient interior lighting. Wireless charging for smartphone. Heated front seats with massage function for front seats. Ventilated front seats. Keyless entry and commence. Electric seats pack, electric driver and passenger seats, electrically foldable rear seats backrest with central armrest. Ultra prestige models add the subsequent equipment. 20 inch diamond cut alloy wheels. Remote tailgate opening with key and hands free locking. Electric room door mirrors Easy access pack, remote tailgate opening with key with loaded arm access Art black basalt napa leather dashboard and door panels with pearl stitching Electric opening panoramic sunroof with LED lighting Premium hi-fi system DS connected pilot, adaptive cruise control with stop and go, land keeping assist DS Urban Pack, DS Park Pilot Automatic Only, DS Park Assist 6 Speed Automatic and Manual Versions, 360 Degree Camera, DS 7 Crossback, Optional Extras. Cars sold to order using the following options Advanced Traction Control, Grip Control, 18 inch Geneve Black Onyx Diamond Cut Alloy Wheels. Mud and snow tires 400 pounds. 
tow bar 600 pounds. DS active scan suspension 1000 pounds. DS connected pilot 650 pounds. Advanced safety pack, active blind spot detection, lane keeping assist, extended. Traffic sign recognition, driver attention alert 875 pounds. DS connected camp 400 pounds. Front parking sensors 150 pounds. Reversing camera 450 pounds. DS urban pack. DS Park Pilot, 360 Vision 1050 pounds. DS Urban Pack, DS Park Assist, 360 Vision 1050 pounds. Aluminium Sport Pedals 50 pounds. Electric Seats Pack, Electric Driver and Passenger Seats, Electrically Foldable Rear Seats Backrest with Central Armrest. DS Night Vision Pack, DS Night Vision, 360 Vision Dark Tinted Rear Windows, Laminated Back and Front Windows. The DS7 Crossback scored a maximum rating of 5 stars when crash tested by Euro and Cap in 2017. There is usually a raft of safety kit available, including sets from Lane Keep Help You Automatic Emergency Braking. Most models feature active LED headlamps, which prevent drivers from dazzling oncoming traffic by switching between main and dipped beam automatically. Blind spot assistance, which will keep the car rolling around in its lane on multi-lane roads, driver attention assist, which gauges whether the motorist is remaining alert, are available too. Optional grip control offers greater safety for winter driving and working with muddy or cold and wet terrain. This traction control system enables you to maximize the grip your vehicle has, with various settings ensuring the best chance of keeping moving about the respective terrain. No four-wheel drive option prior to the hybrid model arrives in mid-2019. It doesn't feel too big to manage for the road, though, then when it comes to parking inside a tight spot. A good amount of assistance systems like parking sensors and cameras help provide a clearer picture of what's taking around you. The DS7 Crossback can be a practical family car, in case you take it at face value as being a premium choice inside the market, it's roomy for your cost, in comparison with rivals such as Audi Q3 and BMW X1. Inside, or relish huge storage involving the seats. Thanks with the massive lidded cubby, while there is a pair of cup holders found in front with this, plus usefully sized door bins. The glove box is around the small side, however. The size on the DS7 Crossback is bigger than average for that premium crossover class. It's larger as opposed to Audi Q3 nonetheless it's over a par using the likes from the Volvo XC60, which costs more income. The DS7 offers up one with the largest boots in the class. With the rear seats in place along with the adjustable boot floor in the lowest position, an enormous 555 liters of space can be acquired. It's an easy task to tumble the seats down, increasing ability to 1,752 liters.